What is up everybody? Hungry Cabagon here. I have got some card store pickups to show you. Uh, I got some interesting random stuff today. Got a few cards. Uh, all Pokemon except for one or two. Uh, I got this thing, which you may be wondering what is that. Got some Pokemon cards. I'll put that down there. It's kind of a surprise for the end. We got some Pokemon cards. We got a Magic card and we got this Evangelion card. So, this is our card store pickups. Nothing expensive, they're all pretty cheap today, but I thought I would just show you anyway, because there's some interesting stuff. It's all cool, it's just like nothing very expensive. I think I spent like less than 20 bucks on all this, so it was pretty reasonable. So, save this one for the end. Okay, first one, it is in a sleeve already, but I should probably put it into a more fitting sleeve. This sleeve is very paper thin. Alright, it's 500 yen. This is the most expensive thing I got. And I do have this already, and I wasn't going to get it, but I thought, just with the crazy increases recently of all these cards, not this one in particular, but I just thought, just in case, I'll grab it. It is a shiny Alolan Ninetales, which is a very nice looking card. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, I've been talking about this, like, some of the other cards from this set. The shiny Rayquaza was like 20 bucks for ages, and now it's like 100 Just gone crazy and the Charizard is like $300 now so the other ones have definitely increased especially the evolutions and things like that the Mewtwo as well is worth quite like I think it was about 300 yen before and now it's like 3000 or more so people like Alolan Ninetales right I'm hoping that that is a good investment but either way I really like that card I do have one uh, but I, I do like the look of it a lot next one this one is a little bit beat up but I just wanted to get it because it's you don't come across these that often. 273 yen, which is 300 yen with tax. The back is a little bit, I can see a bit of whitening. But it's an ultra rare card. What's this guy called again? Ar Ar Arctops or something like that. I can't remember. It's one of those fossil bird, prehistoric bird thing, but it's an ultra rare. It's got like the sweet fighting symbol like textured on there it's got uh, texturing on the Pokemon itself and on the card it looks really good I really like these these are ultra rares which is like the highest rarity uh, at the time in Japan um, so this is like the same rarity as gold cards and stuff like that I do have maybe one or two other ones of these I have a Pikachu one somewhere and I also have a Altaria one I think this is not the most desirable one, but for the price and for what it is, I thought, yeah, we got to get that. All right, these ones are in these annoying things. Can we open this easily? I feel like it's very easy to damage the card because you have to pull that quite hard. Why can't I just put it in a the sleeve? They are hanging on a hook, though. So this is 100 yen. Let's get out a little sleeve for it. Yeah, it looks good. It's a Meloetta EX from Pokecoon, I think it was, the Pokecoon collection. Or maybe not. No, it was one before that, I think. This only has 20 cards in the set, even though this is number 25, making it technically a secret rare. It's not uh, textured or anything like that. I think I do have this already, but nice Meloetta EX for $1. And it's getting on a bit. It's 2000 13. So yeah, that's black and white era, not XY era, which is what that Pokecoon collection was. Alright, next one. I think these are all the same price. I think they're all about a dollar. I really don't like opening these though. It feels very much like something's going to happen to the card. Okay. Wait, which way does it go? <laughs> I looked at so many and I'm like, wait, which is the top? Okay, there we go. Alright, it is a Latios. This is from CP2. I forget what this set is called, but you got one of these kind of cool full art cards in every pack. There is quite a lot of them. I think I must have almost all of them now. Uh, there was a couple that I didn't have, which I've got recently. I do definitely have this Latios. Uh, Latias, sorry. Uh, maybe a couple of them already. But... For a dollar, I feel like these things are popular and 
are definitely one to kind of increase in the future because look at the artwork it's so good like the card isn't not particularly exciting but the the artwork on them is great and some of them are very cartoony like that and then do I have one handy there's some other ones which are much more kind of I uh, don't have it detailed like the dark eye the volcanian stuff like that they look really awesome so I feel like they are kind of collectible which is nice that's right, so next one I didn't even look. I think that, yeah, it says 100 yen. I can see it. So these ones are all 100. Aha, uh -huh, it's a Reggie Gigas. I, I think I did have this, but I got it from like some bargain bin, so it was like a bit damaged. This one looks a lot better. It actually looks fine. So Reggie Gigas is one of those ones that I didn't have for a while. I have to check how many there actually are. I pretty, I must have most of them. I have like a lot of different ones in my binder, so must be getting close to having most of them. Alright, next one. Ah, oh, it's so hot here at the moment. I'm absolutely sweating right now. This is disgusting. I shouldn't really be touching this stuff. I was wiping my hands furiously before I filmed this though. Um, and it has been raining like crazy. There is like crazy flooding and stuff going on at the moment. I kept getting landslide warnings on my phone at like 5 o'clock in the morning. It was absolutely pouring down. All the trains were stopped today. It was kind of a bit nasty. And then it was just like a sunny day in the afternoon. And now it's raining again. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I digress. This one was 100 yen as well, I think. And this is Palkia, which I don't know if I had Palkia. So I'm happy to get that. And I do notice... Is that kind of connecting? It looks very similar. And I can see a uh, Latios in the background. I, I gotta have most of them. I don't know. But I feel like... We're definitely getting there. That's three right there. Maybe two we didn't have. I got to, I got to actually organize my binders. My binders are just kind of like, as I get stuff, I just put it in there. So there's no like rhyme or reason. There was at the start and it was like, this page is all hyper rares and this page is all gold cards. But then I didn't think about it well enough. And it's the kind of binder that like doesn't have removable pages from it. So I just started putting stuff in because the page full of hyper rares got f filled up and now there's just like sporadic hyper rares everywhere and it's just, yeah, it's a mess. And there's like f over 400 cards in the binder. I have two and like to take them all out and to rearrange it, it just seems like a hassle. So I really need to just get like a ton of binders and I can separate stuff like maybe not by sets, but just make it a bit nicer, you know. I do have a small axe binder which I've started making, which I'll show you eventually once it gets a bit more full. And maybe we can have like a Pikachu one and a Charizard one as well, because those things are kind of always popular. But anyway, um, it's very disorganized at the moment. So if you see it, which you will eventually, I got to figure out how to like fit it on the screen. It's a 12 cards per page. So it's got four, four, four. So when you open it, it's like much bigger than a play mat. So it's kind of hard to fit on the screen. I'll, I'll think about it. I don't want to do like freehand. It's kind of going to make people sick if they watch it, because it's going to be so shaky. But we'll, we'll figure something out. Alright, what is this one? Oh, I think I remember what this was. 110 yen, so that's including tax. I think this was the meme card. I think so. Let's check. Must be this is the last one. It's a wishy-washy full art. Just, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know that, like, I've been haunted by Wishy Washy in the past. And I do have a couple of Full Arts, and I have a Hyper Rare and stuff. But because it was a dollar, I was like, I gotta get it for old time's sake. And that is reasonably old. That's, like, from Guardians Rising. Um, this card I bought, it does have a price on it, I think. I just bought it. The shop that I bought it from doesn't even sell Magic cards. It actually had this just amongst the Pokemon cards for some reason. And I looked around the shop, like, because there is a hollow one, which was very expensive. I don't know if it's still expensive of this card. Um, and I was like, I want to have a look if they have the hollow one just to see how much it costs. But they don't even sell magic cards. Loose cards, anyway. I think they sell packs. Uh, anyway, it is this one, which is just an uncommon. It is Godzilla. It is Space Godzilla. But I think they've changed the name of this. This might become kind of collectible in the future. It is uh, Death Corona Beam Space Godzilla. So obviously that name kind of has some negative connotations at the moment. So they have renamed it, I believe, for the future printings. But it looks sweet. 
Space Godzilla is awesome. Um, and the Hollow one, I remember when the set came out, it was like over $100. I don't know if it's still the case. I don't know if it's actually a good card. But it looks sweet and it's kind of got a, that interest factor where like it's kind of peculiar and peculiar and it will change. So I wonder if it might become collectible in the future. We'll see. This last card is kind of random. It's an Evangelion card, as you can see, and it says Marumia and Evangelion. And it's actually from, you can buy like uh, instant curry in Japan, which is just like a sachet of curry with um, meat inside it. And you heat it up and you put it on rice and you make your own curry at home. Some of them cost like a dollar. Some of them cost like five dollars, depending on how good they are. They have Evangelion curry. I did take a picture of it. Maybe I can show you if I can quickly find it. And you get a card inside. So I was like, I don't care what it tastes like. I'm getting Evangelion curry. And I got Asuka. I think it said there was 12 cards to collect. So I assume there is no collectability to that. But I did take a picture of what it looked like. And the curry was passable. Not amazing. But I couldn't resist the Evangelion curry. It was just like, yeah, I gotta have me that. But I gotta try and find the picture quickly, and then I'll show you this last card. Um, it was recently. Ah, here it is. You can see this what it looked like. Ugh, now it's gonna be funny. Ugh. Okay, let's go like that. Anyway, Evangelion Curry. That's the pouch, and that's the box. So it says, you know, you get a card in there, twelve different cards. So that was pretty funny. That's why I got it, just because <laughs> I had Evangelion and I wanted to get the card. I think it cost two bucks. And uh, anyway, this is the last card. I'm not gonna open this. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Uh, I think this came from a magazine, if I remember correctly. But it's this sweet Celebi promo. As you can see, it was 300 yen, including tax. This is a promo, e-reader promo. And it says what it is here. Nintendo Space World 2001 Original Pokemon Card E. And I had a bit of a look online. I couldn't really, like, pin down a price. I saw some that were, like, 40 bucks. Some that were, like, less. Some that were more... I saw a PSA graded one that was like a hundred bucks. I don't really know what it's worth. I feel like it's definitely worth more than $3 for this like 19 year old promo card. We have Celebi who is very popular, looks sweet. It's still in the thing that got cut out of the magazine and the card is in a sleeve or not a sleeve maybe, but like a protective casing inside there. So it's like as it came from the magazine, presumably, which is sick. So definitely that's the pick of today. I, it was like, in the showcase, like hidden behind stuff, and I was just like, oh, what's that? That's sweet. I, I gotta go with that for today. It's not hollow, but it looks really good. Uh, I like my Asuka card as well, and I like my Space Godzilla. I like all of them. That's why I bought them. But anyway, let me know what you think, which one you think is the coolest. I think this is definitely the most unique, and I've, I've never seen it before. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.